you know who I'm gonna blame? I'm gonna blame y'all. I decided to look like something because I really haven't been at the house and I decided let me put on some little lashes you know like that's about it I filled in my brows a little bit um little concealer you know just a little bit um and I get harassed I get harassed <laughs> So I got a little fruit punch. Oh, did y'all know what I was getting? I'm at Burger King. I'm parts. Got me a little fruit punch. This is really like my little cheat day. I cheat a couple times throughout the week, but this was like my this is my first time getting fast food in like a month, y'all. Oh, this is nice and sweet too. Got me some little fries. I just want to let y'all know I'm not finna eat cute. I don't know how much talk I'm gonna, talking I'm gonna do. Cause last time I did this last summer, um, I didn't enjoy my food how I normally enjoy my food. Is this man finna eat next to me? Like, get away from me! Dang, bro, he really, y'all, this man is really eating next to me right now. So, here, let me show y'all my little burger. I got a Whopper burger, a Whopper. Ooh. We have everything except pickles and mustard. I don't know if it comes with mustard, but I always say no mustard because I don't like mustard. Um, I don't like pickles on my burgers because they're really soggy and it's a weird texture. I don't know, y'all look weird. Um, but I added bacon and cheese. I love me some ketchup, some onions on there. So what I've been doing, y'all, because I've really been on like a little diet, lifestyle change type of thing. I've been doing these protein burgers and it's really it's pretty much ew I said tomatoes also I don't really like I, I can do tomatoes on certain sandwiches but not really burgers like that that soft squishy texture like not a fan but I've been eating these protein wraps that I make at like my house and stuff because my parents have all the groceries um and it's basically like a burger without the buns like you just wrap it in um wrap it in lettuce but I'm gonna take the first bite. I've been watching Tammy, uh, Trailer Trash Tammy. I think her real name is like Chelsea, Chelsea Lynn. Y'all, she's so funny, bro. So I'm gonna get my little first bite and I'm gonna show y'all the bite. Is that how y'all bunkers are doing? Hold on, this gonna be a mess. Oh, there we go. Oh, let me get one more. Mm. 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 Oh, that's so good. Oh, delicious. So, um, I'm going to try to talk to y'all, but I really like to enjoy my food. I really haven't had a real burger in a month. Like, it's almost, it not, not even almost. It's been 30 days because... Where I live, it's pretty far from everything, so it's like I just eat what I got in the house, but I was like, hmm, I've been craving a burger, you know, like, let me go, let me go splurge on my burger. And I added the cheese and the bacon, y'all, that was like an extra dollar fifty. I guess this is why people do these who want to put people I did want to talk about something today I had already thought about it I didn't really write it down because I wanted to just come from the dome you know um but what I want to talk about was manifestation mm. girl so manifestation by definition because we hear that word all the time but I don't really know just the definition of it you know like I know what it means you know you know what something means but you don't know what the definition is like, does that make sense? So the man, the definition from New Oxford American Dictionary says, an event, action, or object that clearly shows or embodies something, especially a theory or an abstract idea. So again, if you didn't know what it was before, you now you know. It's basically thinking up something, speaking up something, and making it come alive. 
it's basically you know like what we know it in society to be and it's been a really big deal this year for me I mean I feel like a lot of people around me have talked about manifestation and doing stuff but I remember in the beginning of this this year like 2020 that and had like just something placed on my spirit that 2020 is you know clear perfect vision so the year of 2020 is just that even with this thing that's going on right now y'all like y'all gotta understand this is all a part of the plan so i really want y'all which i know we've heard this a thousand times on social media on podcasts on everything that now is a better time than ever to start that job i mean not that job but start that business start that channel um buy that book and do you know like start all the dreams that you said you wanted to do but you didn't have time to do um and as corny as it sounds it really is that time but i want to say that if it's not that time for you don't force it like it's all in the mindset it's all you gotta want it in your head for it to become a reality y'all finna get i'm finna get deep hold on so when you start believing it if you genuinely truly believe it in your heart of hearts in your mind and you start speaking into existence that's when things really manifest y'all be trying to manifest stuff on half of faith half of belief you have to believe it wholeheartedly like absolutely there is no plan b type of you know belief in it if you want to start that business you need to go into the planning stages and write down what the steps to achieve to get you to that main you know that that big big accomplishment that you want to see you want a storefront then you start from scratch and you got to write out how you gonna get to that storefront we're not doing no more of that oh i want to start a business i want to start selling hair if you're not waking up every day working towards that goal that you saw in your dream then what's the point of being awake? If you're not if you're not taking this time out of any time we've ever had before, like I know some people are still in work. I know places are starting to open back up and everything, but the amount of times we have on our hands, y'all, is a different amount of time we've ever had in our lives. So if you're still finding a way to say that you can't start that diet, you can't start that weight loss journey, you can't start that business, you can't start that book that you wanted to read, you can't start that relationship because of time that's no longer an excuse that's no longer something that should be hindering you back from anything at this point at the beginning of the year i went and wrote down all my goals for 2020 and like things that i want to accomplish and i haven't been able to get my hands on it because it's in my apartment but i really need to go look back at it to see like what have i been doing to get to that point and i know like as i told y'all my first video back i have been working i've been you know eating sleeping breathing my dreams simply because y'all we work these 40 years at these companies making them millions of dollars every year to make let's say you get a really good job that makes you like $30 an hour $40 $50 I don't really know how much that is for the year but you get a really good job you get into your career a career not even your career because nine times out of ten and I'm speaking to my college students right now a lot of y'all are in school for degrees that you have no passion for like i'm really finna i'm finna step on some toes hold on y'all getting degrees and things that y'all are not passionate about your grades are reflecting it well, let's just let's just be honest let's be real you're not enjoying yourself at college or you are but it's like a separate entity of like oh yeah college is super fun and then it's like i go to my school i go to my classes i'm at the point i just wanted to merge i don't want to separate i didn't want to separate like my school and my career from what I'm doing right now like that makes no sense to be working and you're like from 18 19 20 21 doing something that you love to go and do something that you don't love if you want to if you actually want to be a kinesiologist you should be working now to be a kin not not because it pays well let's get at that mindset not because all the benefits that it might provide you because one thing I had to learn when I changed my um my degree from nursing to journalism at the time that anything you're passionate for and anything you work for in life is going to give you the benefits that you need to see you're going to see your money you're gonna see your benefits you're gonna take care of your family you just you just determine how you work for it if you want to and I hate to say this how I'm about to say it but I'm gonna say it how I'm gonna say it um, if you want to take the easy way out and just go become a nurse because you know it's good money which it's no lie like you will make good money fresh out of college being a nursing student going into public health field going into administrations you would but I know so many people who hate their jobs who hate what they do who hate going to work who go to work just because you're making money that's just slavery baby 
I don't want to be a slave to nobody else's company. Y'all make it, I was making $7.25 at my first job for like a year and a half. And I was making them, we had sales goals of like $1,000 each week. Y'all, I probably saw $1,000 in within seven or eight months working at that company like if i was to hold all of my checks to myself and not touch a cent of it i probably would have saw a thousand dollars in eight months and i'm making for this for you every single week y'all gotta wake up y'all gotta wake up we live in a society where it's way too many opportunities to still feel like you have to do it traditionally that you have to wait till you're 60 years old and oh and then of course when you get to 60 it's like well i got kids and i got this to take care of and now I'm older I don't have the same energy I did when I was back in my 20s I don't have the same energy when I was in my 30s now I have these responsibilities and everything like I don't want to live that life anymore it's a lot of people who are comfortable they be the people who execute and the people that watch and I don't want to be the ones that watch anymore I know I'm talking kind of fast I got a little a little excited a little passionate there but I just say that to say like start stop working for money and make money work for you the mindset of thinking that I have to go to a miserable job or I have to do this something I don't love or go to college for something I don't care about just because it's gonna pay me good you're working for money you're a slave to money I remember being in like fourth or fifth grade with my friends with our little tripod with our little like one of those little small cameras that had the big lens the big camera lens um, and making like Bratz doll movies like we had whole scripts and everything so I've always been into that so it was like why am I going to college for journalism I don't want to tell stories I don't want to cover stories I want to write my own and that's to me why I changed my major again <laughs> to media and entertainment productions um, and I'm, I'm good like I'm done with that I'm getting a minor in business as well because I do run my own business and it was like again like in college doing one thing that's thriving and doing well making all this money but you're going to do something else completely once you graduate it doesn't make sense to me anymore like I, I just don't get anymore and I decided that if I'm gonna be working and thriving on my business and my, my laden lux and my company and I want it to grow into this big you know amazing incorporation that is like selling hair across the country and across the world and I'm making this all this residual income and passive income and set having girls in my chair in a shop and a storefront all this and that why would I be getting a degree that wouldn't help me towards that? You know, like that's a waste of these four years. That's why people say college is a scam, but that's because one, let's talk about this. Work four years for a degree because it's gonna earn you money in the long run, but you never see that money until you're like 40 and you work for this company from starting up, you know, as like a little intern or, you know, not to say like little intern, but you start not making that money like oh one day you'll get that money one day you'll start seeing those eighty thousand dollar you know a year pay stubs one day you'll start seeing that but it's not today it's not after you graduate sometimes it's a lot of people who don't even go into jobs that have anything to do with their degree you know so i just came to the conclusion in the mindset last like the beginning of this school year the beginning of this year was 2020 which is when the next semester started that it was like why would i be going to school for something i don't even want to do and I also, I just decided, like, I want to live my 20s, enjoying my 20s. Like, I want to learn and grow and see things and travel the world and not have to wait until I'm 50 or 45 or kids or this and that and this happens. Like, you can make anything you want happen today. It all starts with the mindset. If, you're, if your mind changes to say, like, I want to experience life now. I don't want to wait, you know. When, people, when somebody else says, I have to wait. I want to do this in my life right now and that's just what my mindset is y'all you know the fear the fear of like not knowing exactly you know what's gonna happen is real and I understand the fear of it but it's like you gotta take that fear and manifest it into something great you gotta take what you scared of and work so hard that you crushing the fear in the same process baby I'm getting too deep on y'all right now I ain't even ate my burger hold on You gotta be willing to come at that mindset because that's the only thing stopping you. That's the only thing controlling you. Like, it's not your circumstances, it's not where you come from. It's people who come from nothing who make lives that some people don't ever see in their whole lives. Mmm. 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 No. <laughs> and I feel like this was necessary because I hear a lot of people on social media around me like, Manifest, 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 and posting these pictures of these fancy cars and these big houses and these lifestyles going to Dubai for the weekend. Not it, but it's like 
if all you're doing is manifesting is putting the pictures in front of your faces you will never see it but when you start when you start believing what you're trying to manifest you'll start working for it each day will be I need to get this step done to get closer to where I want to be and if you're not at that point then you're not really manifesting for real you just looking at pictures sis Period. everybody trying to chase a dream but ain't nobody willing to run baby y'all trying to walk skip <laughs> trying to hop I think that's all I got for you today. I will see y'all in my next video. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Comment. Let me know. <laughs> and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.